Good morning. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am waking up. Actually, that's not true. I've been awake since 4.30 this morning because I don't sleep. I woke up and had some oatmeal and coffee. <laughs> like, yes, this will keep me warm. And then just couldn't sleep anymore, so. Um, it's 9.46. I've been, like, laying here since 4.30. Uh, Watch the sun come up. Beautiful. Freezing cold last night. Let me see what it was. Uh, memory, here we go. So it went down to 41 and 43 inside was the coldest. Um, what I was doing is I have this big metal, uh, this thing was once a drill bit for cutting big holes in the street and I found it, they threw it out when the drill part blew off, the saw blades or whatever, and it's like a big 30 pound iron, ay ay ay, I need a little camera thingy, 30 pound iron plate, and Although I gotta take a blowtorch and burn the lining off of it. Um, so it doesn't make that horrible smell when it gets too hot. I put it on top of the stove, and turn it on, and although the butane makes carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and water, which I don't need more water on a boat, uh, it's all I got right now. And it heats up the metal thing. It's really nice. If it doesn't get too hot, you like put it under your coat and stand on it oh that was nice no or just let it sit there because when you turn off the fuel the thing is now energy from the fuel instead of just going into the air went into the metal which is now going to slowly dissipate into the air and i've noticed that i can actually raise the temperature inside the boat by three to ten degrees when the sun comes up so about three degrees um uh, I've been thinking about insulation, insulation, what am I going to, can't use carpet, can't use styrofoam, uh, unless I hide it somewhere, can't, you know, there's so many things I can't use because this, <laughs> or gallons infest everything, it's just horrible, I'm like, what can I use, well, maybe I can use mylar, you know, it's this cheap mylar dollar survival blankets, they really suck, but if you cut them and layer them in like eight layers if I can lay them in the holds the holds are, are under these things I don't know it doesn't matter I've shown you you open up all the seats and underneath these little wood things and inside of these things and under there is the hull and the hull is on the water and the water is cold and sucks the, the heat energy heat is energy heat is is energy that's caused molecules to get excited and jump around and when there's no heat entropy it's you know, heat always goes from the hot to the cold. Uh, the, the cold gets colder and the hot gets colder because just the way it is in this thermodynamic land we live in. There may be exceptions to this rule, but I don't know them. Um, okay, three, four cups of coffee later. 9.49. Uh, we got the eviction notice from the marshal and Thank you, Lord. There was a holiday, Veterans Day, this week, Friday. So today, when I go get medicated, I'm going to get fri today, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're going to give me, like, it seems like forever and stuff. So I have three days without having to worry about that. However, i got to worry about, can we get money? Where are we going to live? Where are we going to pack? How are we going to bring it? The, the, the patron wants to go today to the court with the eviction notice and say, please, Please, Your Honor, can we have a little more time? And he's going to say, well, you've had four months. What have you done? And, and she doesn't get it that the argument for staying is not, well, the room was so dirty that it caused me to spend all this money and time cleaning, and now I can't move. That is the most ridiculous ar argument I've ever heard, because when she used it before, the judge said, well, then why don't you move? You know, if it's so dirty, then get out. Right. No. The problem is, I have mental illness, and I'm not quite capable of doing this. Uh, my father just died, I don't have enough money, da 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 this, that, and the other thing. And we're trying to get appropriate housing from the state, health, I'm disabled, blah, 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 blah. Now, 
when the city sent the adult protective services, which I requested, to our house to interview us, Petra was asleep. She should have been ranting and raving like she usually does. And he was a very nice guy. I told him the whole story. He said, okay. And then he went. And they sent me a letter that says, we have found you not, we have found you competent, not disabled, or whatever they said, not in need of our services. I'm like, okay. You know, I have a psychiatric evaluation in my pocket that has like nine disorders on it from which I suffer. You know, maybe I'm high functioning. Maybe I'm like able to hold on through the hallucinations and, and pretend it's not happening. And the, you know, blah, 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 all the crap they feed me and, and the manipulation and, and the, the, the oh wow, I just sort of smile and you know I've learned that, that I've learned a lot. Anyway, I was thinking about something. There's been a few times in my life where I'm desperate, I'm down, I'm broken, I'm broke, I'm hungry. Here's an example. I've probably told you this story before. And I'm walking down the street and I'm praying to God, please, Lord, if you could just help me get a sandwich, something to eat, you know, put something in my stomach. Thank you. And I'm walking along and the road comes, there's two roads and they come to this center and in the center there's this little tiny park and a little phone booth this was years ago and, and the phone starts ringing and me ever curious go and pick it up hello <laughs> nobody's there click i'm like hello and then all this money comes out <laughs> you know three four dollars whatever it was just enough to go to the store and make get a sandwich and uh, you know there's been so many times in my life where these things happen and sometimes I, I you know I notice it I'm like thank you other times I, I don't quite I don't understand why it is that I can make small clouds disappear by telling them to disappear and dissipate and looking at them and saying that's it and they after a few minutes they go now don't, I haven't tried it with big clouds yet but and I've only tried it a few times because I don't want to fail, but it's happened several times. What does this mean? You know, I have my theories, but... So I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, you know, if God somehow hears my prayers and deigns to bless me and answer them in any way or shape or form, how can I just pray for myself? You know, I mean, we get so bogged down in all this survival and fear, at least I do, fear, terror. I, my, my body is, you know, my brain, I'm in terror all the time. I have to pretend everything's okay. But I walk around and I like everybody I see, I'm like, dear God, please help that person. Dear God, please, you know, get them out of the street, give them something to eat, hear this sickness, help them. It's, you know, I, I don't understand it. I don't think I ever will. There's a lot of theories about why people were chosen to be targeted and abused and tortured and infected and infested. And, uh, you know, why people would follow you around in the street and throw stuff at you and call you names in, in a organized stalking program. You know, it's like uh, mankind does such wacky stuff you know when we could be building a better world when we could be helping you know but this isn't what and the more i look at it the more it seems like there's really something wrong here we all sort of know intuitively that you know if my neighbor is happy then i'm happy you know and if i'm not you know what I mean? If we're all doing well, and the ones that aren't, we can share more. But there's people who just don't get it, I guess. Anyway, enough said. It is 9.55. I need to go to my thing. I need to get on... Okay, I need to get off my boat. Let me show you this real quick. Here's the plexiglass that I made. I don't know if you can even see it. It only goes up about this high. And I got another piece over here. 
I got this nice stained glass. I'm gonna get another piece of this and cut it to fit. And maybe I can even put one up here, I don't know. But the, the, the wood stove thing, the fuel burning, the fuel burning stove. I need to get a, I don't know if I can make it. Maybe I can make it if I have to. I would really rather buy one. There's one for like a hundred bucks. It's about as big as a bread box, iron box at the door. You still need to seal it. And it's got a seven foot chimney. You need a few more feet. You got to cut a hole in the roof. Where do you put a wood stove on a boat? I mean, it's only as big as a bread box, right? But you need something that's big enough to put the fuel that you find into it. And if it's big enough to put pieces of wood, I mean, not logs, but you know, broken up pallets or, or right down across the river is a giant woodworking place. And I used to see barrels of scrap, maybe, you know, I don't know. I got to look around. But what I want to do is get something, install it, use it with what I can get, and then modify it so that it will burn anything. Because once you have the firebox and the chimney and the ducts and the flue and the insulation and the, um, I don't know where it is. Yesterday I bought some, some black swan furnace and retort cement. It's good for up to like 3000 degrees, little, you know, $3 bottle because I want to figure out how much do I need? How does it work? How does it dry? And I'm looking at chimney caps. You know, what can I make it out of? I got tin cans. But you got to remember, this is hot. This is, you know, fire. <laughs> and if you're going to burn waste oil or diesel or old gasoline or, you know, motor oil, cooking oil, whatever, petrol, because that's what I want to modify it to. Anything, anything that I have that burns, I want to put in there and it should be able to multi-fuel because, you know, what am I gonna do? I, I don't have trees here I can't cut down. I mean, you know, lumber is around, but you gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta get fuel and keep yourself warm. When I woke up this morning, you know, the boat is soaking wet, all the condensation from the breath, because there's a lot of moisture that comes out of you, and there's like 100% relative humidity at the water, just about. Okay, I just gotta, a bunch of notices something about the boat is being sold as is i'm looking for like free or cheap boats it's a 34 foot something or other boat <laughs> as is the usually means it's been there for 10 years and doesn't work anymore and good luck to you so um eventually god will answer my prayer and i will find the boat that i need the free boat that fits the bill so that the plan works i don't know I have to have faith because without faith you know what's funny here's another funny thing i don't know if you can see this <clears throat> i got this belt on that i found in the street and it says faith actually it says faith tattoo or something but you know like so every time i put on my belt to hold up my pants which now look like clown pants because i'm so thin uh iPhone likes to play tricks on us. It just turned off. Whatever. So it's telling me it's time to go. 10 o'clock. I'm going to leave early. Uh, usually if I leave at 10.45, because I love sitting here and just rocking back and forth, looking at the water. It's so oh, relaxing. And, and the, the hypervigilance, you know, the paranoia, the hypervigilance, the, the PTSD symptoms. When I'm on the boat, I need to be hypervigilant. I'm always listening for the water, for this there leak. Am I gonna hit something? Something coming? What's going on? You know, the weather, the the everything. And I find that that gives me a reason to be so hypervigilant, rather than just sitting in my room terrified for no reason because the symptoms come on. You know, but I don't even know. You hear whatever. Some guy says blah blah blah, and you it's terrifying. So. Uh, I've also found that magnesium, hi, how are you? Magnesium supplements have helped a, a great deal for some reason for the terror. Um, so take your magnesium supplements. And uh, I'm babbling, so it's time to go. I'm giving myself a little extra time today because I'm in so much pain. My, my shoulder is killing me. My, you know, everything is hurting. And, uh, I got really sick the other night. I think what happened was either I got the water in my mouth, you know, my hands, or, or I 
met somebody new and I smoked something and you know got sick because if everybody's carrying this variant of a geno mutating or you know specific it, it adapts to your and then passes it on and you're reinfected whatever it was you know maybe he just had the flu or a cold you know whatever and my immune system is like timothy we're doing the best we can right now there's fibers growing throughout your body you know and muck running in your blood and little things blowing in the dark and so give us a break we're trying you know god bless my immune system man please do your thing Anyway, I, I'm rambling, so the other thing that I love to see is this little solar, I don't know if you can see it from here, and it says, there's a little number on there, and, and you know, it goes up when the sun is out. I'm like, wow, electricity comes out of the sun. Amazing, I want more, you know? All I need is a few more panels, a few more batteries, but I gotta distribute them throughout the boat. And a heater, some insulation, a water filter, and, you know, what else do you need? You know, I got a TV I can put in here, but I hate TV. All I need is Wi-Fi, actually. If I had Wi-Fi, I could... Anyway, I'm using up my data, and I'm wasting our time. So, God bless you all. Thank you for watching my silly morning ramble. I, I do this usually even when I'm by myself, just to sort of wake up and say, Hello! I'm gonna go see Petra, and we're gonna try to go to the court and beg them for some time. And if they say no, then we're gonna figure out what to do. And if they say yes, then we're gonna figure out what to do. Thank you. God bless you too. Everybody have a good day.